So I just want to take a little bit of time this evening just to give you an up, all an update on the master plan uh, process that we've been doing over the past several <coughs> months, and uh, as well as a little bit on the preliminary survey that, that the group has been working on. So to begin, I'll mention that on June 19th, the planning board began holding master plan sessions at its second meeting of the month, the third Wednesday. Uh, the representatives include the planning board selectman representative, which is Jim, uh, one member each from the board, uh, the ZBA, the Conservation Commission, the HBAC Budget Committee, the SAU 90 Superintendent, and two Hampton residents. Um, and I'd also like to note that we have designated the beginning of each master plan session for public comment so that we can obtain feedback from residents and other stakeholders in the community. So we encourage people um, to attend and share their thoughts with us at these meetings because that feedback is going to be critical as we continue forward with this process. Uh, in total, so far, we've had five sessions. Um, I believe they've all been uh, very productive sessions. I know that Rick represented the HBAC as well. I mentioned Jim earlier. Um, so I just wanted to note some of the accomplishments so far from those sessions. Uh, we formed a master plan steering committee, which consists of the planning board members plus those representatives previously noted. Uh, we provided an overview of the master plan, master plan process in New Hampshire which included Master Plan 101 presentation by the Rockingham Planning Commission back in July, and that presentation's on the town's website if people wish to go back and see it. Um, we reviewed examples of master plans from several other communities to evaluate the different formats used and help to determine our direction. Uh, we reviewed materials from the 2013 Vision Subcommittee to determine what items of interest or concern at that time continue to be relevant today. Uh, we are also working with in working with the New Hampshire DES Coastal Program, we reviewed an RFP for the vision and coastal management sections of the master plan, which is to be released this week. Um, $35,000, as you know, was allocated earlier this year uh, for the coastal management section of our master plan through a larger NOAA grant um, that was awarded to the coastal program earlier this year. Uh, DES uh, recently committed an additional $10,000 so that the vision section could also be prepared in conjunction with that same grant because there is overlap between those chapters, the coastal chapter and the vision chapter. Um, so that's, that's definitely something that's come along through this process that's, that's very uh, helpful to us. Um, we prepared a rough first draft of a warrant article for the March 2020 um, ballot that we talked about last week's meeting. Uh, that's currently being refined and expected to be in final form by December. And led by Ann Carnaby, who is our planning board vice chair, um, and with assistance of the Rockingham Planning Commission, uh, prepared a preliminary master plan survey, which is available online now. Um, I'm just going to walk through. Um, Ann had prepared a list of talking points that for people in the group to go around to different boards and committees, and I'm just going to walk through those as part of that master plan uh, survey process. Um, so, so what's the, the purpose here? It's the, doing the survey, um, publicinput.com um, backslash HMPS1. There was some talk about what the address was earlier. So I'll say it again, publicinput.com backslash <coughs> HMPS1 for those who want to pull it up. Um, and that's the beginning um, of updating our master plan is compare, preparing that survey. In it, um, people will share their dreams and visions of a better place to live and work in the future of our town. Our updated master plan will begin with goals which come from your vision of a better place to work and, and be written, live and work, and be written by experts who use documentation and statistical analysis to support the need for funding from state, federal, or other agencies. There's already been an award of $35,000, as I noted, for the coastal management portion and $10,000 for assistance with the vision portion. Uh, vision and um, land use are two uh, sections of a master plan that are required by law in New Hampshire. Other sections, of course, you, you should uh, obviously include in the current plan has done that, but those are the two that the law requires. Um, why are we doing this? It's to have a current, well-written and organized master plan that will help us raise money for larger infrastructure projects like roads, bridges, uh, trails, things of that nature, and, and other types of uh, land use uh, projects and others that benefit the town. In taking the survey, um, what's it like? It's in the same format as the cable committee survey. For people who've taken that survey, they would uh, recall that. It's forgiving in that you can change any answer that you don't like and, and you can redo that. Uh, each section um, of questions is a comment box for 300 words or so for more thoughts um, from each respondent. 
As you respond to an item and click enter, the survey will show you what others have entered on the same item. And you could actually take the survey more than once, but we don't encourage that. I mean, that's just how, how a technical uh, glitch in it that, that happens. Um, so the next steps after the survey is, you know, the efforts we're doing now so that we can get the Warren article together to raise the additional dollars for the expert um, research analysis and data collection that we need to prepare our master plan. Um, and in, a quarter, in order to accomplish this, the Warren article for additional funding will be on the ballot, as I noted, in March. Um, we've talked about, with regard to the survey, some publicity campaigning and how to get this out to people to know that. So through the website, um, through visiting different boards, committees, places in town, maybe senior centers, things like that. So we're, we're looking at a broad a spectrum of places to look at so that we can get that word out there. One other thing that we're doing, and Fred and I had talked about this, was a distribution through the email list. We had talked about that. And, and Fred had noted that if we wanted to use the email list beyond the typical scope of land use and zoning and planning matters, that it would require your approval to do so. So I don't know if that would be something that the board would want to consider or would be interested in, um, just so that there's a, ma a mass uh, distribution of that. I make a motion to do that. Okay. Yeah, I'll so, second. Excellent idea. Okay. All those in favor, unanimous. Okay. Um, so that's the survey. As far as next steps, um, Jason, as I, is there a link to the survey on the website? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, there is. I'll, I'll get to some of that too in, as okay. I finish up. But yes, there is a link to the survey on, on the front page of the website. So you can click on it right there and it'll take you directly to it. So for next steps, we're going to finish and submit our warrant article by December. Um, work with the coastal program to interview and select a consultant for the vision and coastal management sections. We anticipate December and January would be the time frame for that. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to prepare an RFP for master plan service to address services to address land use and other sections such as recreation, natural resources, economic development, transportation, and so forth. And all work on the master plan update is anticipated to commence in March or April of 2020 so that we can hit the ground running after the March vote. Consultant um, selected for the vision and coastal management sections would be required to team with the consultant for land use and other sections, if it is in fact a different consultant, to establish concurrency and develop a manageable integrated master plan. So just in closing, I would note um, that the documents for the, from the master plan sessions that we've had thus far and going forward are available on the town's website, hamptonnh.gov, under departments. You can select planning and then master plan sessions 2019. <laughs> Uh, more documents, as I said, will be added as we continue forward. Um, we would encourage residents and other community stakeholders to complete the preliminary survey, which is located, as I said, at publicinput.com backslash HMPS1. Um, I will leave some information on the table for anybody in attendance tonight that has um, the link and some a um, little bit about the process. Um, we would also encourage everyone to participate in this important process and appreciate the voters' support for the Warren article that will appear in March 2020 ballot. And if the board or the public or anyone has questions, they can always contact me in the planning office. I'm more than happy to help. So that's what I have. And um, I think that, you know, we constantly hear, uh, oh, I didn't know about that, or, you know, I didn't see it discussed. This has been discussed for months yes. and months, and uh, really ever since last year. Right. And this is a good time to, uh, you know, so it will be fresh in your mind from when there is, when it is, when it is time to vote, you'll get to see, you know, you'll maybe understand it better than trying to read the Warren article. That's right. So this is a great time for people to tune in or come in. Come and to say the meetings, something. absolutely. And, yeah. and there's a public comment portion on the beginning of every agenda. Mm -hmm. So we encourage yeah. people to come and speak. And, and it's very interesting. Mrs. Wolsey? Great job. I've watched all of your meetings. Uh, this is long overdue, and you really need the help that this will give you as the town planner. I, I'm very happy to see this, and I hope that we have great support at the polls in March. Yep, you too. Thank you. Great. Gina? I agree the same. Great job getting this together, and I hope that it works well for you. And will having a working master plan, do you think, help us a little bit as far as getting maybe grants? Oh, no, no question about it. I mean, that's that's one thing that's very clear. A lot of times when you see grant opportunities, it'll ask you about your master plan and what section is applicable and, and how yep. current is it. So directly relevant, absolutely. Yep. Thank you very much. Mr. Waddell. Good job. Thanks. 
And we'll move, and I totally agree. I've been part of it, you know, and I hope my replacement came last time. Uh, he wasn't there, but oh, we'll, well, I'll speak we'll, to uh, him. We'll talk to him about okay. that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so you can move on. Very good. Yeah. J Jason, do you no, have any don't... idea how high, how high oh. the new master plan is going to be? How many inches? It, it won't be as thick as the one we have now. I can I, assure you that. We're, we're looking for something in a definitely consolidated format that people can actually pick up and read and use and pick out the points and very nice. implement very nicely. Yeah. Good. When I said move on, I didn't. I thought you had another thing to say. Oh no, I, that <laughs> yeah, was no, no, that was everything for. Uh, He's just thank trying you to get so rid much. Of you. you do a great job. <laughs> okay. Thank <laughs> you very much.